HMAS Sydney has been in action with a heavily armed enemy merchant raider, which she sank by gunfire. The intimation was received from survivors from the enemy vessel who were picked up some time after the action. No subsequent communication has been received from HMAS Sydney, and the government regrets that she must be presumed lost. The battle itself was brisk and bloody. Um, the fire was concentrated on Sydney's uh, bridge, which very, very quickly appears to have knocked out her command and control, uh, obviously on Sydney's main armament and secondary weapons. And it wasn't long before Cormoran was also able to torpedo Sydney, which proved to be the death knell for the ship, albeit, you know, some hours later. Sadly, the crew of Sydney um, uh, perished, 645 men. Uh, that included six members of the Royal Australian Air Force, four civilian canteen staff and a number of uh, officers and sailors from the Royal Navy. Uh, the ship was last seen uh, quite late in the evening, uh, burning on the horizon and then it vanished, uh, at which time we have seen no more. Today, we pay our respects to Thomas Wellsby Clark and after 80 years, we return him the dignity of his name. We remember his service and those who served beside him. Tom, as his family called him, was just 21 years old when he lost his life along with 644 others on that fateful day for our country. This tribute coming from the nation I love and from the Navy in which I serve fills me with a heartfelt emotion that I feel, find difficult to express. Our Navy and our nation are proud he served us so well. And to be able to identify Sydney's lost sailor as able seaman Thomas Wellsby Clark after 80 years is truly remarkable. It's been a very long journey uh, since 2008. Uh, trying to track down relatives of, uh, of the unknown sailor and it's a fantastic feeling to finally give this man back his name. Well, to be quite honest, I think it was a bit upsetting because I'll, I'll never erase the memory I had of him in that lifeboat at the scene of the battle storm and then drifting for almost three months, exposed to the elements and the seabirds. So, a bit distressing really. The truth is the main thing, and I'm so grateful for the many, many people, well over a hundred, who helped ascertain the truth about his identity. I'm so grateful to all of them and glad the truth was found out. Based upon the DNA evidence that we've obtained, which is both the uh, mitochondrial DNA from the female side of the family and the white chromosome DNA from the male side of the family, the unknown sailor is Abel Seaman Thomas Wellsby Clark, uh, born in Brisbane in 1920 and enlisted in the Royal Australian Navy in 1940. He'd only been on board Sydney two and a half months when he was killed.